Hey, you dear. Okay. Bye, you dear. <laughs> the carp crew is so fun. Do you think the carp crew is fun? Hey, carp crew. I'd like to play video games with you. I've waited months. You want to play video games with the carp crew? Get on at fucking 1 a.m. my time. 1 a.m. EST. That's when they play video games. Sorry, I haven't gotten up in like three hours. I told you guys I was tired today and I just want to sit in my chair. Ah! Oh, I love you. Give me your Twitch Prime or something. Thanks, guys. Now you feel the pain of the fellow Australians, all of your stream at 1 a.m. SST is at 4 fucking a.m. Yeah, because you're on the other side of the fucking planet, dog. It has a difference. They're just fucking dumb with their sleep, their sleep schedules all the time. Also, I haven't played against a Nico in a really long time. <gasps> Ooh, he's in my lane. He must be, it must be raging because he's in my lane, chat. Oh my God. <gasps> it was Nico the whole time. Oh my God, I never saw that. <sighs> also, because I'm sad and give money to other people when I'm sad. She's mad. She's so mad. She's so goddamn mad. She's like fucking banging her face into the goddamn keyboard right now. She's... Oh, she's so mad. I almost want to type I'm sorry and I'll chat. <laughs> Eventually she had to go for it, man. Eventually she just couldn't fucking resist. So I assumed you smoke weed since it seems like you have the correct assumption. Yeah, I have indeed smoked weed in my time. I cannot, I tell you right now, I do not smoke weed because I live in Virginia. I do not smoke weed because I live in Virginia. But I went to Las Vegas and I bought 30 edibles and I was only there for two days. I cannot tell you, I did not bring it back. I did not bring those edibles back on that plane. It did not happen. I also didn't give one to my mother's coworker. <laughs> there was not a 65-year-old woman who had never experienced marijuana before and wanted to try it for the first time in a safe, controlled environment. And so I gave. That didn't happen, Chad. Did not happen. Didn't. Never. Can't prove it. I love you. Thanks, Flames. I'm glad the things that I don't do makes you fun. Makes you laugh. <laughs> you so what? You didn't do any of this? No. Not the next night, but another night. Um. He, he lived in like a house full of like a bunch of his friends, right? He was in college and I was just going to visit him for my college. And uh, the next night we were all just like chilling around in the living room and my brother said he wasn't feeling well so he was going to go to bed. And we all just assumed he was going to bed but then like we kept seeing him get up and stumble into the kitchen and then run out, crouch down on the ground. And then finally he did a little barrel roll. And so we were like, Austin, what the fuck's going on? And he's like, you can't see me. And I quote, Oh shit, I wanted to flash after the fact. He said, and I quote, you can't see me, I'm the Pop-Tart Bandit. We go into his room and there is a pile of 10 boxes of Pop-Tarts, all of the boxes ripped open. <laughs> and there's just piles of open Pop-Tarts. <laughs> like a mound of like 60 or 70 fucking Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Damn, so close. Hey, you dear. Okay. Well, bye, you dear. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to. I'm five and zero, apparently. <laughs> I'm fucking talking to my chat about weed, so I'm just like. You ever talk about weed enough, chat, that you feel a little high? Pot smokers here. Stoners in the chat, raise your hand. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Former stoner. <laughs> What's wrong with why? Why it feels bad, man? It's because he can't get stoned now. Probably why. Nice. Oh, good you. So if you went the same way as your clone, so that's not as cool. It would have been cooler if you sent your clone the way that I was going, and then ran the other way.
I love you, Jax. Jack, can you tell Jax that you love him, please? In high school, all of my buddies, like all of uh, my closest friends in high school, I didn't smoke until I graduated high school, but uh, all of my closest friends either moved extremely far away, and I'm talking like, you know, multiple states away, and they're not gamers. I wasn't, I was, I was friends with a lot of people, but my, my closest friends weren't ever gamers in high school. Um, and uh, my closest friends would either move very far away or become cocaine dealers. And you're like, oh, so it was like three friends that moved away and one friend that became a cocaine dealer. Try the other way around. <clears throat> and I went to a nice school too. Dude, one of them was like the weirdest case. It was this one kid, uh, his, name was, his name was Chris. And uh, Chris's house was like Switzerland essentially. Uh, yeah, everyone, everyone hung out there. Like, if you were after school, you just went and fucking hung out at Chris's house, right? His dad was a single dad, and he had a dog and a, and a baby. And as long as you, like, you didn't wake up the baby, you're welcome to chill in the basement. Even if Chris wasn't there, people would come over and chill at his house. Like, that's how cool his dad was. Um, and we used to do like dumb shit in his hot tub and stuff. And then Chris tried weed for the first time. I think it was like uh, sophomore or junior year of high school. He tried weed for the first time. Within a week, within a week, um, like completely cut all of our friends off. And was like full time smoking weed, and like I think I think it was two weeks later was selling weed, and a month and a half later was selling cocaine, and then six months later was dropped out of school, and uh, the FBI busted down his door. Yeah, so that happened. Just make sure you make money off of your cultist church first. True. Dude, I did a lot of weird, like, if you, you ever, okay, those of you who are adults right now, do you ever look back at your childhood, think that you didn't do that much fucked up shit, but then you take, like, more than five minutes to think about all the shit that you and your friends did and realize that you were, like, an anarchist? Like, <laughs> like, you did a lot of fucked up shit as a kid? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Hell, yeah. Dude, like, I was thinking about it the other day, and someone asked me, like, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? And, like, off the top of my head, I was like, uh, donuts on the, on the, on the, on the field, on one of the fields of my, of my high school. Uh, but it was my buddy's car at the time, um, and he didn't drive to school because he only had one car in his family, and so his mother needed the car to school, and so they they took the tracks of uh, of the car, right? They took the tracks of the car and they ID'd it as a Toyota Corolla. It was a fucking bland ass car, and so every single person who owned a Toyota Corolla and drove and drove to school every day, obviously because they have your plates and shit if you drive to school and you park on campus. Um, and they like had him in the fucking principal's office quizzing them and like like we need to look at your car to see if there's dirt marks and shit. Uh, but like he didn't drive to school so he was never questioned because he didn't have his car uh, the car like you know marked on anything so like that was really fucking that was like one of like a crazy things but that got me thinking to like all the other messed up shit that I did man chat I'm gonna tell you something right now okay I'm gonna tell you something that I don't think I've ever told my chat before in my entire life <laughs> didn't expect that one now did you chat So wait, are we losing this game? Help! The guy literally couldn't change to turtle form because he took the blast cone. Can I get a fucking Bible thump in the chat? Hey, dude, I'm here to, like, kill you or something. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, that's what I'm... No, I came here to do it, so I have to do it. No, my mom's going to be real mad if I don't. I'm sorry. Guys, I'm going to recall, okay? Is that cool? Well, I play Zillion mid. I had a really good Zillion game last game, actually. Like, a really, really, really solid Zillion game. Not trying to tell you I won't play it again. I might. Suck the toes of anyone in chat who donates all of their money in their bank account right now.